Deontay Wilder is probably one of the most controversial personalities in the sport of boxing. With this being the case, many people do not accept or underestimate his boxing ability and just label him a big puncher or brawler. This couldn't be further from the truth as the bronze bomber does in fact have a few tricks up his sleeve to catch his opponent off guard. In this boxing style analysis, I'll take a closer look at Wilder's fighting style and how he uses intelligent setups to knock out his opponents. I'll also give you a brief background on his achievements to date. On that note, let's get right into it. Born in Alabama, Wilder didn't find boxing until a later age, taking up the sport at 20 years old under trainer JD's. He would quickly get into the amateur system and pull off some huge upsets against some previous up and coming favourites. Wilder would quickly go on to win the prestigious Golden Gloves and the US National Championships. These performances would help Wilder to win the Olympic trials to represent his country in Beijing 2008 Olympics. He would then go on to win bronze at heavyweight and finish his amateur career with a record of around 30 wins and 5 losses. Shortly after the Olympics, Wilder started his professional career coining himself the Bronze Bomber after coming third in the Olympics. It was also a homage for his fellow Alabama heavyweight legend, Joe Lewis, who had a similar name of the Brown Bomber. Wilder would then start his impressive rise to the top with countless knockouts over fairly unknown opponents. After five to six years working his way up the ranks, Wilder finally got his shot against Bermain Stavern for the WBC heavyweight title, which he won by unanimous decision. From here, the Bronze Bomber would defend his world title 10 times, tying with Muhammad Ali's 10 consecutive defences. This time, Wilder had some notable victories and knockouts against the likes of Stavern again, Brazil and Luis Ortiz twice. However, it's his more recent contest with Tyson Fury which has seen the biggest spotlight as he has come against someone with superior boxing ability. Despite his last two fights with Fury not ending the way he would have liked and losing his WBC title, Wilder is still a very dangerous opponent for anyone at heavyweight as he has that devastating knockout power. Deontay Wilder's Boxing Style Deontay Wilder's boxing style is often misunderstood due to his impressive KO record. Wilder does use elements of an intelligent sharpshooting boxer puncher style and his lack of technical ability, you would have to suggest he has a bit of a slugger boxing style. Despite this, Wilder still uses intelligent techniques to help him catch his opponent off guard and quite often ends up knocking them out. I'll now break down his style in more detail. Using the lead hand. Wilder usually catches his opponent off guard with a jab or left hook. He uses this to distract or keep his opponent occupied. This is mainly so he can set up his power punches for the most part, but he also uses it in other ways. The most obvious is to set up a target where he will land the right hand. He will do this by using a stiff outward jab to block his opponent's vision while he follows up with a right cross. Deontay will also use this to create distance between him and his opponent. This is to either once again help to set up his power punches through distance or defensively keep his foe away from him. Finally, he will also even use subtle feints to keep his competitor on the edge guessing before he actually releases the shot. A great example of this was obviously his KO against Ortiz in their second fight. Breaking the guard Probably one of the most underrated qualities Wilder uses is actually breaking through the opponent's guard. He will do this simply by pulling away his opponent's guard so he can set up the devastating right hand cross or overhand right. This is a move even the likes of Lomachenko likes to use as well. However, the bronze bomber will use it in a very different way. He will instead try to time the pull down while he is in the middle of throwing his right hand cross. By doing this, it leaves no time for his opposition to adapt in most cases, leaving them on the canvas. A brilliant example of Wilder doing this was against Kelvin Price as he extended his jab to strip his guard and then land his KO right. Power over everything. It's obvious when we watch Wilder that he prioritizes power over everything, particularly for his right hand cross. For this reason, Wilder puts his full body into his punches, which can result in a lack of correct technique or structure in the body. Nevertheless, as much as you can say this looks bad or is wrong, the energy he creates when throwing these punches is devastating. Especially by him following through the punches with his footwork, he's able to generate that power. If you look at his footwork against Dominic Brazil, you can see here he uses the anatomical use of his whole body from feet to the end of the punch. 
This is what helps generate that godlike power, which so many of his competitors have been knocked out by. Yes, in some cases he doesn't connect these punches and loses balance and looks clumsy. However, I can bet you the majority of his opponents would still rather not be at the end of those clumsy misses. Defense If you look back at a lot of Wilder's fights, defense is another area Wilder is very underrated for in my opinion. If you look back at a lot of Wilder's fights, he does in fact not take that much damage at all. He does look very awkward defensively at times, but for the most part, he is very effective in what he does. As mentioned before, Wilder will continuously paw out the jab to create distance, and will also use this as a distraction against his competitors. Another thing he will do is continuously circle and move around the ring, mostly on the back foot, making it very difficult to get to him. This also makes his opponents very cautious, as they know Wilder has tremendous power in his right hand, so for the most part, they are not fully committed to getting so close. This in turn also works in Wilder's favour to set up the counter shots to catch them by complete surprise. Final thoughts, Deontay Wilder is definitely not the best technical fighter in the world and is in fact very awkward to watch. Because of this lack of fundamental technical skills that fellow heavyweights Joshua, Fury and Usyk have, Wilder instead focuses on some key techniques such as breaking the guard and using the jab to set up his power punches to win fights. It's sometimes not the prettiest thing to watch, but you can't deny that he is an aimless brawler who steps in the ring each time. It will also be very interesting to see Wilder under his new trainer Malik Scott, where he has been working on some new techniques. I'm really intrigued to see if he adds anything else to his arsenal going forward, and especially for his trilogy fight versus Fury. Time will tell, but there's one thing we'll definitely know about Wilder, he will always have that ridiculous knockout power. And that wraps up this boxing style analysis guys. Hope you enjoyed this and give you a bit more insight into Deontay Wilder. If there's any more boxing styles you'd like me to cover, make sure to comment below. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Do plenty more content like this. As always guys, thanks so much for the support and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.